Hey, Melody, how you doing? <clears throat> hey, Robin, Leone, Darla. Hey, guys. So I put these out here. So I'm going to show these, but I it takes a thumbnail. So I wanted to, um, yeah, I wanted that set there. <coughs> How's everybody doing? I should have grabbed my juice. So I thought I'd show, um, show some new books. I ordered me a second copy of Abandoned Civilizations. And I got some other books in. And then I'm gonna, just going to do some sketching today, probably. Nothing, nothing fancy. <laughs> just hang out with you guys for a little while. I'm good, thank you. Except I'm going to have to need to go get some juice. <clears throat> Once I start talking, I can say, oh, I should have grabbed some juice. My voice is uh, scratchy. Hey, Nordic. Hey, Lynn. How you doing? Hey, under construction. <laughs> what a good name. Hey, May. I'm going to say hi to everybody. Hey, Wee Hootie, Karen, Stars, Kat, Miranda. Dot, thanks everybody. Hey, Pacola, thanks everybody for being here. Judy, Linda, Kim, thanks everybody for popping in. Like to say good morning to everybody. Does the sound sound okay? <clears throat> hey, Suze. <laughs> Hey, Kenny. I'm glad Susan, Kenny, Sus and Kenny are here because um, some of these books are from them. Hey, Judy. Thank you. <clears throat> Got my elbow here, so it looks like somebody's here. <laughs> Uh, and then I just thought I'd just do some sketching or something, unless we think of something else. So happy Friday. It is Friday, right? Hey, Joycey. <clears throat> Let me go run and get some juice, guys. Here, I'm going to put Andy here for a minute. Let me go run and get some juice because the hot coffee's not doing it. Okay, that should be better. So yesterday I spent a good chunk of the day rearranging some of my studio space. And uh, so I made room for uh, a section on a wall. I made room to have a little bit of hanging room because most all my room is shelves <laughs> all the way around. So I don't really have any wall space. And the roof in here is like a barn shape. So, yeah. So, i got to catch my breath. Run up and down the stairs. Um, so, I rearranged a lot of stuff. I got all my inks and everything over on this side of the room rather than on the other side. So, I have everything right above my foam core build. And I might, I thought about doing another layer of foam core build. But I think I like how my inks are on a shelf. They might be too heavy. So, yeah. So I did that yesterday. I was going to move two of the bookshelves. <laughs> That's a, I, I do this all the time. I get this, like, be in my bonnet and want to rearrange things. And so I kind of wanted to move two of the bookshelves to the other side and a table on this side and 
anyway, I said, no, I don't really feel like unloading two full bookshelves. <laughs> so I just moved a bunch of um, some shelves right in here, just the shelves themselves, and got all my inks and everything on this side. Oh, good, Karen. You got some pan pastels? Oh, my gosh. Yes. I know that you're going to love them. They're fun, especially for blending things, you know, and you can use pencils with them. So that's also nice. Okay, Kenny. Don't be gone too long. I'm going to show your book in a minute. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't move the shelves. I just moved uh, a bunch of the supplies from one side of the room to the other and moved some of those over here. So, but it still took a good chunk of time. I know. That's awesome. And uh, so I did, I, I think I told you I messaged Bernadette and asked her about doing a, a palette thing out, made out of the sponge material. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see if she'll do that. Just can't type. Do you, oh, okay. Oh, oh, you styling, styling this morning, Kenny. <laughs> oh. Hey, Button. Okay, well, well, thanks for saying good morning, Button. So what's everybody got any weekend plans? What are y'all going to do this weekend? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. Anybody have any... Thing you're going to do this weekend or go somewhere or work on some art projects hi Lori happy Friday to you too let me move Andy here <laughs> uh, read a thon okay Robin is it from one of the book tubers is there a read a thon go is there a readathon going on with the booktubers? I, ha I haven't seen one, so I, I don't know. You're going to work on your art room? Okay, Kim. Yeah, the Falcons opened up last night, so. Hey, Julie Topaz. Oh, it's a Facebook group. Okay, Robin. Oh, how cute, Louise. I didn't even know they had one of those. How cute. I know that, you know, miniatures used to be a big thing. Uh, and Jennifer Crackalackin, she does miniatures. I used to, you know, 30 years ago, but I haven't done miniatures for 30 years. Um, boys... Are the colors were just oh well take pictures, Lori. Lori, you're on Twitter, aren't you? Or Instagram? I think you're on Twitter, aren't you? Leone is 9 a.m. tomorrow. I finally got the power check for my daughter. 13 months. How many letdowns? Oh, oh, well, good for you for fighting through, Leone. Hi, crafting lady. Hey, Zeely. Hey, Galena, Purpolina. <laughs> so hope everybody's going to have a good weekend. Do something fun. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure it can get expensive, Louise. Hi, Ann. I want to go to the, there's a stamp convention, you know, rubber stamp although they're not all rubber anymore. They're acrylic and, you know, uh, but there's a stamp convention. I just, to differentiate between postage stamps and 
<laughs> and rubber stamps. But um, I think it's the 22nd, 23rd, something like that, a weekend, that whatever that weekend is. And it's uh, it's up in Atlanta, and I want to go to that one. I didn't go to the scrapbook one this year in July because I, I don't need another piece of paper. Hi, Janet. But I would like to go to the stamp convention. Janet, you want to come? You want to come visit me and come to the stamp can uh, rubber stamp convention on the twenty third or whatever day that weekend is. <laughs> come on, Janet. You know you want to. You know you want to go to the stamp convention with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Um, our Terry has been overdoing the yard work and uh, her shoulders. I don't think she'll be here. I, I mean, I didn't even tell her I was streaming because yeah, she's been overdoing the yard work and she needs rest. You can't get here by the 23rd. Yeah, that would be cutting it a little close, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, maybe next year, Stamp, because that's too far. You need to come before next year. But it would be fun to do something like a convention together. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Karen. A few years ago, me and... uh. Um, uh, uh, Darcy went and uh, Denise, me, Darcy, and Denise, we went to the uh, scrapbook convention. It's been probably, oh gosh, how many years ago would that have been? Five or six? Five or six years ago? I can't even really guess. At least, at least that long. So, hi, Lisa. Anybody else popping in? So, so I got some books, and then I thought I would just sketch for a while. Um, I really want to get, I want to draw some sea creatures. I want to draw some octopus and some, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do jellyfish, maybe a um, seahorse. Oh, a sea dragon. The sea dragon. Yeah. You never been to a stamp convention, Janet? Oh my gosh. And all the stamps you have. Well, that's probably why you never went to a convention. <laughs> you never needed to. I don't need to either. I just thought it would be fun. Maybe do um do some streaming from there. So, uh, stream from the convention on my phone. We'll have to try that, huh? You'd be clutching your pearls at a stamp convention, stars. <laughs> You're a poor deprived child. Well, I haven't been to a stamp convention in a lot of years. Way I, So I've been streaming for eight years. So it had to be at least two, three, four years before that. So it's been a good 10, 12, probably 12 years since I've been to a stamp convention. Maybe longer. Because, you know, uh, scrapbooking kind of, uh, replaced, if you will, rubber stamp stores. There used to be rubber stamp stores all over. Not as many as there was scrapbooking stores. But there used to be quite a few rubber stamp stores. And, you know, you see my catalogs from stamping, um, you know. We have to bring it back. <laughs> now, I've never been to a stamping up anything, uh, Muffy. Um But, yeah, hi, and oh, I, I'm sorry, Muffy, which one are you again? I mean, not, what's your real name? I mean, what's your name again, Muffy? Why am I having a hard time remembering? When I see all the different names, when I'm used to calling you something else. Hey, Kim. Zandra, Zandra, yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry, Muffy, Zandra. <laughs> oh, there's none in Ireland? You, maybe you could start one, crafting lady. Maybe you could put on one. It might be a big hit. I bet it would be a big hit to have some kind of a convention there. Hey, limo, Norma. I was telling the girls a minute ago, 
uh, and I and I briefly said something about on Xander's. I wasn't chatting much on Xander's last night, but I was there for a little while. Um, I I rearranged my wall space yesterday. I don't have much wall space, but I rearranged some of my room so I had a place to hang your um, acrylic pour painting. So I have your I have your painting on my wall right next to Mona Lisa. She's hanging right next. It's hanging right next to Mona Lisa, <laughs> my muse. Oh yeah. Oh, all, all of ours. We had I don't know, uh, probably five local uh, uh, scrap local scrapbook stores, Julie, and I don't even know how many in the Atlanta area. Of course, Archivers. We had Archivers. It closed. Um, and so yeah. All of them. And I probably did design team work for all of them at one point. Not not archivers, because archivers was too far. But it's seven in the at night there, Julia. Well, welcome. Yeah, I know um Oz in Oz it's eight, nine, probably what about nine, 10, 45? In Oz, I think they're, are they 13 or 14 hours ahead? Hey, Bob. Thanks, everybody. Um, if Hey, Bernice, make sure y'all welcome any new people. And hello, lurkers. I get people emailing me saying, I can't really chat, chat. I'm watching, I'm lurking. So welcome all you lurkers. It's 13th, so that's, uh, one, it's, it's, you're five hours ahead, right? So it's 145 there, Ian. In, in, uh, Australia, though, I think they're 13 hours ahead. For some reason, I think 13. Hi, Teresa. Lisa, I know I'm missing some people as it scrolls by. Hey, crafting lady. Um, I don't crafting lady. Um, Me Miro, if Miro comes in, crafting lady, she's in Poland. Um, if Miro comes in, ask ask Miro. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Joetta. So I'm going to go ahead and start, guys. I want to just, I like to say, you know, take a few minutes to say good morning to everybody. You're never awake this early? Oh, uh, well, thanks for being here, Bernice. Okay, so I ordered another copy. And remember, guys, if you talk to me, put it in caps. So, because a lot of, you know, conversation just goes on, which I try to catch some of it, but obviously I can't catch it all. So, if you're talking directly to me, put it in caps. What's stamp? Oh, Stampin' Up! Stars. It's a, it's a company. It's a stamping company that I think they have like, um, sell, you know, uh, a sales thing where, you know, you can be a rep, you know, Kind of like a Tupperware thing. Y'all can, can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But um, people, different people can sell you stamping up products locally. Oh, yeah. I hear you, Joetta. Yeah. Hi, Crystal Love. Okay. So y'all know I bought... Um, or I was I was given abandoned civilizations, but I went ahead and bought me another copy so that I can. And let me show you the one that I did. So we can, um, and I did start putting some. I started you putting some cats down, uh, like here. I haven't glued them. I just tacked them down. But let me show you from the cat book that Norma sent me. Look, Norma, I started putting some cats. <laughs> On my page they're just like just tacked down with a little bit of glue glue stick for a minute <laughs> and uh it was it, yes yeah, like tupperware for stamps janet and so i started putting some cats okay let me show you this one this is the one we finished so i'll show you i, I wanted another book okay my camera is all crooked there we go 
Wait a minute. Let's go this way. Hang on, guys. Let me get it straightened out here. Sorry. It looks like it should be straight. Okay. So like this one, for example, let me get to that page so you can see what it looked like. So now I have one that has nothing in it and one. Let me find my Easter Island. Here, flip, flip, flip. It's not this far back, I don't think. Nope, it's toward the back. Where are you, Easter Island? Here it is. Okay, so this is what we started with. This is what the page looked like to start. <laughs> I'm going to show you the ones I put down, Crafting Lady. So this is what we started with, and then this is what we did with it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> so you can see um, now that I have one that's blank and then one that we've worked in. I think I'm going to zoom in one, too. Uh, when I start sketch, I'm going to sketch kind of big. I'm going to sketch on some uh, 11 by 17 paper. Uh, so I might have to back out. But Nancy D. Hi, all you guys. Monday, I have had another IG. <clears throat> well, good, good to have you, Nancy. So I wanted to have uh, two books. So I got, I bought another copy of that and, um, oops, oh my, let me get my, uh, what do you call it here? So I cut out Norma, Norma sent me a book of cats. <laughs> I cut them all out, cut, this is just a few of them. The rest, let me move these books. Hang on, I, I want to show those separately. There we go. So I cut a bunch of them out. Well, I, I really almost cut the whole book up, Norma. <laughs> So these are the ones I haven't used yet. And I'll just try to flip here to show you the ones that I have. I've just kind of stuck in a few. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, let's see here. I put in about probably about 10, maybe. I mean, I just, like I said, I just lightly tack them down for for now, but I really like, I really like them where I put them. Where are you, kitty? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Hang on, guys. We'll get to some. Okay, here's one. So I'm going to put this one here. Like I said, I just, you know, they're not glued down yet. Uh, so yeah, but I had fun cutting those out, Norm. That's the other thing I did yesterday. I went through that book and cut things out. This one's, look, it's going to fit right on that sky. I mean, I'll blend it all in, but, uh, yeah, we, and we did this the other day. We, we put, this was like a silhouette of a cat. It was already black. So I just put stars on them. So look how that's going to fit on that sky there, right? <laughs> Okay, Robin. <laughs> Robin, you should get your mail today, your little envelope with your charm in it. Um, here's this one. So this is the other thing that I did is I cut cats out and rearranged my art space <laughs> to make room for Norma's painting. <laughs> uh, I know the chat does go by fast. <laughs> Thanks everybody for being Fridays is usually uh, a little less busy because it's impromptu. I did tweet it, but it's still, you know, I don't I don't stream every Friday. So <laughs> the cat is hurting horses. I love that, Karen. I gotta write that down. <laughs> Where's a oh my gosh, let me find it. Here's some, here's my uh, toast. Make grilled cheese with this. <laughs> oh, where's my, I had my, I had my pins in the other room last night. Uh, cat herding 
horses. Okay, more Karen. So when we go to work on it, we'll remember that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what else I've done here. Um, this one, I put him there, I think. Look how he's just looking. I mean, doesn't it just fit? The mod steeds, Galena. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the cats hurting cowboys. I remember that, Julie. I thought about putting one here, but I, I have some other plans for this one. Uh, let's see. Where else did I put some down? Oh, that one has a little glue stuck on. There we go. This one. <laughs> Aren't they awesome? I love this. I love having these cats. And, and look, I still have tons more. I still, I cut them. I didn't cut every single one out, but I spent a good hour cutting out uh, all these cats, right? There's this one. <laughs> so he's got his foot on the, he's, look, he's like leaping over. He's leaping from one side to the other. <laughs> uh, let's see. These two. <laughs> hey Natalie <laughs> you girls uh, yeah we'll put one in a katina <laughs> uh, so you see where I've blacked out a lot of the text so far like here Okay, this one. <laughs> I am, I'm having so much fun with these cats. The kids, I did the same, just a few. You know, in my abandoned castles. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they fun? Oh, uh, let, let's see. What else? This one. That one just worked out perfectly color wise. You kind of, you kind of, you don't really see the him in there. You know, <laughs> let's see what else we got. I don't know if I got many more because I, I did. There we go. This one. Remember, we started working on this page. So I thought that one could sit right up there trying to grab the water. I might have the water like coming over his paws <clears throat> or her, you know, little paws right there. We uh, painted all those clouds. <coughs> hey, Joan. So uh, you can see where I started painting things out. I don't know if there's any more cats or not. But I have done a lot of painting out. <coughs> Sorry, guys. My voice. I think a cat balancing on here would be nice. I don't know if I have a tiny, tiny one here. It would be nice to have a little one balancing up. No, I think I'm gonna do I was doing chess pieces with this one. Maybe no more cats. So anyway, that was fun. I had a lot of fun with that, Norma. That was that was a good good amount of fun. And then, like I said, so now I got the the other one to show a finished versus a non-finished ones. You're gonna come say maybe I'll oh, yeah, well, so yeah, I'm getting ready to show that one now. Okay, so <clears throat> then Sue sent me Lost Cities. She got it at the um, Half Price Books. <coughs> Hang on, guys. Another sip of juice. And I think I need to close my blinds. Some beam right there. So um, Sue sent me Lost Cities. 
and it's a big square one. So now I think I have seven abandoned, seven abandoned books to work in. <laughs> Never going to finish all of them. The cat with horses needs a cowboy hat. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, Brant Limo. Yeah, it's a little cowboy hat on that cat. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So I am going to, I'm going to flip this way because it's easier to see if I go this way, I think. Although it got a little dark. No, maybe I'll better just go this way. All right, it got dark again when I closed the blinds. Maybe I need to open the blinds back up. Let's go to my advanced settings. Let's turn the brightness back up. Not that far. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> no, I flashed it out now, didn't I? Did my thumbs up before I forgot? Oh, thanks, Pacola. Okay, hang on, guys. I, I did something to my lighting. I, I always do that. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good there. So I'm going to flip through this one so y'all can get an idea what's in this one. And it's... <clears throat> Lost Cities, Beauty and Desolation, Julian B. Croft. And uh, <clears throat> Sue's, Sue sent me this one because I think she has this one. So she wants me to work in it because she is. <laughs> uh, but this is awesome. Like anytime I see these kind of thing like this, I always want to put a koi pond in there. I always want to put a koi pond in there. This I've marked this one because I'd like to do this one, I think, first. <coughs> and this one also, I love this. You can have people walking down that little path. So for those of y'all that are just joining us for the first time or have never seen any of the abandoned books, go back and look at some of my abandoned book videos. I have a playlist. Um, I try to remember to put them all in the playlist. Sometimes I might have forgotten a couple. Uh, I try to remember to put them all in playlists so that you can just go find them easily. Uh, but what we do is we take these books that that uh, photograph abandoned places and turn and change them and put a world in them. Yeah, you got the book and you want me to work in it too. <laughs> so yeah, and we and we re re reinvent the worlds. That have been abandoned. What did Kim say? I do my thumbs up. Oh, thank you, Kim. Thank you, guys. Thanks for all the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Look at this one. That is just, I mean, look at that. Like, did this tree, it was like a banyan tree or so I'm not sure what kind of tree. Like, did it just grow around this? You know, it's just, I have to read it. Ghost Towns. And it's just so fun to reinvent the worlds. Okay, Lisa, feel free to lurk. Feel free to lurk. I was doing more lurking in Xander's show last night than chatting, but I watched some of her show till about, I don't know, 8.30 or something like that. I have to go finish watching the rest of it. I saw Jean, Jean painted Yoda. Watercolored a picture of Yoda. Look at this one. I love this. Mm -mm -mm. This bridge is going right into space. This is all going to be space. And this bridge is going right. There you go, Suze. That's what I'm going to do with that one. <laughs> this bridge is going right into outer space. And I'll leave all these little um, metal bits here. But all the trees will be gone. This looks like a miniature of the picture. It was a small picture in, um, in one of the other books. And there was four of them. And this picture was one that was in one of the four pictures. I think that's the same one. Same picture. Or same place <clears throat> uh, 
Hi, Sharon. Just going through a few books here before we get started. I'm just going to draw today, guys. I'm just going to do some sketching with a ballpoint pen. You know, I got to I got to start getting warmed up for Inktober. This will be my fourth year to do Inktober, and so I I've, I've done it for three years, and I finished it every year for three years. Yeah, there is, Suze. I do. I like them, too. Look at this one. Mmm. I know a lot of abandoned places kind of creep some people out. Not me. I think they are. I just love abandoned photography. If you want to call it that. Abandoned photography. And I love the abandoned. I don't know if you've ever watched any of the shows on... Uh, there's a band, there's two different shows, a band, and one that's on just, uh, I don't know if it's on Discovery or something like that. The one Terry and I watch is called Abandoned, it's not Abandoned Places. Terry's not here, so I can't ask her, but it's Abandoned, it's on Vice Network. I think she watches it on Net, Netflix. I think she watches it on Netflix. I watch it on Vice Network. And what it is, it's, it's a few, it's a few years old, and there's, I don't think they're making any new ones. But this guy goes around the country, just in the States. He goes around the, well, no, I think he went to British, did he go to British Columbia one time? And um, skateboards, skateboards around. I mean, he doesn't just, he doesn't skateboard around the country, but he takes a skateboard and skateboards at all these different abandoned places. It's just called abandoned. Yeah, it might just be called abandoned. Hi, Katrina. Your husband just bought you this book at Sam's for about 14. Yeah. Um, Sue's found it at a, a half price books. I'm not sure if that's what she paid for it, but like $8.99. Half price books. Yeah. <clears throat> you bought it too, Kenny. See, we all buy these books. I mean, we have put the abandoned book on the on the map. Because <laughs> we all buy them and alter them, and some you know, a lot of us buy two of them to keep one. Um, but aren't, aren't they fun? <laughs> yeah, he did. He went to the fishing village in BC, yeah, Julie. But isn't it a cool show? And sometimes he takes a friend with them, and uh, but again, they're um, I, I don't think they're making anymore. And it's probably I don't know how many years ago they came out. But somebody said that you can watch some of them on. They, they have some clips of them on YouTube. I don't know. I don't remember Sam. Maybe just look up Vice Network. You might be able to find some. But they have them all the time, repeated on Vice. Lots of YouTube shows on it. Yeah, there are lots of, uh, Donna, there's a lot of YouTube shows on abandoned places, but this one, uh, oh, Amazon has it for $2.99, Suze. Everybody better go grab Score! Um, um, this is a guy that goes with us on a skateboard, though. It's not just going to abandoned places. He, like, explores them uh, and, and skateboards through them. That's really cool. It's really cool. Just what I paid for yours. I got yours from it. Oh, that's oh, you got it for $2.99 on Amazon. Oh, okay, Suze. And they got it from half price books. Okay. So thank you so much, Suze. I'm gonna make sure and put your name in here. Because I tried to do that in the back. So okay. From Suze. Um, so we're gonna work in that one uh soon too. And then the other thing that I got in the mail, this came yesterday, was from Kenny. Kenny sent two, so that means one to keep and one to give away. So Kenny sent mythographic, mythographic, color and discover animals. And there's all kinds of hidden things. So let me zoom in a little. There's all kinds of hidden things. You know, guys, I, I got to refocus everything. Uh, that looks pretty good. I just need to prop it up because those are glare. Let's just prop it up on my pencil case there. <clears throat> and uh, here we go. 
I don't like to get it too dark. It looks like right color now for me, but sometimes when I go back and watch the videos later, they look a little dark. Um, it, they don't look dark heat now, but then they look dark later. So I don't want to get it too dark. Plus I have, well, you know what it is, is the sun is flashing in and out. Hang on. Let's get the sun stopped from flashing in and out. Because it keeps changing my lighting every time it changes. Uh, so, hey, Julie. Hey, Scoobs. Anybody else popping in? It is kind of like a Kirby in that there's hidden things. But it's totally different kind of art. Okay. So, it's called Mythographic. So, I'm going to set one aside here. And again, we'll do a, maybe we'll do a special giveaway next week. Uh, an extra giveaway. I usually only give a book, one a book a month because, you know, it can get expensive, especially if they're international. Um, sort of want this book on the fence. Okay, well, Robin, have you seen a flip through yet of it? I know there's other people that have done flips of them. So, yeah. So, Joseph Katambang, Mythographic Color and Discover Animals, an artist coloring book of amazing creatures and hidden objects. Castle Point Books. There's the information right there. Thanks for putting the link, Pacola. <laughs> so I am going to I'm going to just leave the lighting like it is. It's a little dark on me, but the, the pictures look good. So because the pictures look good, we're rolling with that because of the, the it's looking really good. So but there's all kinds of little hidden things. Like there's a little candy there. There's a diamond. There's all kinds of hidden things. And in the back, it does show. It does show where to find everything. So the, the answers are in the back of the book. <clears throat> so isn't it cool looking? It is a little tiny. You'd probably, you're going to need some gel pens or some fine liners to get in some of those areas. Unless you like to do a big sweep of color and then go back in. So, yeah. Isn't it cool? There's a rabbit and just all kinds of things. I mean, there's like, I don't know, like maybe 10 things or so. It looks like there's about 10, so eight, nine, ten, 10, maybe 10 to 15, 10 to 15 hidden things in each one. Did y'all ever remember when you were a kid? Remember those, um, hang on, my pins are falling out here. Remember um, highlights? Do y'all remember highlights? It's like a kid's book, and they'd have all kinds of little stories and puzzles and games and, and search things out. You do, Kenny? You remember it? <laughs> so... Um, no, you can take this though. I don't want any more. I'm drinking. I got some juice. I got some juice. Thank you. So here's an octopus. I want to draw some octopus today. I'm going to get, I think I'm going to sketch some octopus and some um, sea creatures. I'm going to do some sea creatures today. So y'all think of some sea creatures you want. And I'll look up some references. I'm going to probably start with, I want to draw an octopus and I want to draw a um, sea dragon. And I'm just going to sketch them, guys. I'm not really, I just want to ballpoint pin them. So here's my little Kenny um, gift thing there. So I'm going to keep that. So isn't it cool, guys? And there's just all kinds of hidden things in there. Of course, I'm not going to look for them all because I don't want to spoil it for you. If you buy, you know, here's a lionfish. If you uh, buy the book, I don't want to, you know, point everything out. It's a griffin, monkey, hummingbird, doll sheep. Is that a doll sheep? I think so. Pedro. Yeah, I'm going to draw Pedro today. <laughs> don't anybody, don't anybody tweet Pedro today. <laughs> We won't say that uh, one, Julie, because we don't want uh, we don't want that to actually happen to him <laughs> again. <laughs> There's a bat. <laughs> I have to color that one for Anne. <laughs> <laughs> 
You remember, uh, uh, Norma, you remember the highlights? Yeah. Little badger in there. <laughs> I just called my appointment. Is canceled. Oh, yay. I'm glad, Robin. I'm glad you called. If your appointment was canceled, I'm glad you didn't go down there for nothing. One of those uh, lizards with the eye moves all weird with the curly tail. <laughs> Swan. So anyway, more eel moose. I hope you all think this. I mean, there's a it's a big, thick book. There's a lot. This is the one I'll probably, uh, I won't do it today, but this is probably the one I want to start with. The cat. Let's put it over on this side. And the other thing about this book, guys, is they're one-sided. So if you want to use uh, alcohol markers, Copics, um, it, it does, is make sure to put something behind it, though, because it will go through to the next page. Uh, but it, um, we, you, we can use our markers with this. Goofus and Gallon and Highlights. Now, I don't remember that, Julie. I don't remember their names. No, don't remember that. Hi, Diana. You think you need to purchase this book, Louise? <laughs> We're enablers around here for sure. There's a dragon. A dragon in there. Look at that one. Walrus, Slow Lori, uh, looks like a badger, giraffe, uh, peacock, zebra. I love, look how his stripes are coming off. His stripes are coming off of his body like they're floating away. I love that. Look at that. And I love the graphicness of the black and white. Um, one of the first, I think it's... Um, Aubrey Beardsley was one of the first uh, pen and ink artists that got me interested in pen and ink back when I was, I don't know, 13. <clears throat> it's a gorilla in there. And then here's all the answers. So there's a lot of pages. I don't know if it says 55 55 and that and they're one-sided so that is awesome if you want to use your alcohol markers has oh you got some you did you order some donna did you get yourself some pan pastels awesome <laughs> so anyway um Kenny sent two, so one's, one will be given away. Well, maybe next week. We'll see. But uh, be, be holding your breath. Be holding your breath for that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to readjust my light. Uh, let's see what happens when I bring white paper in here. Now I'm going to back my camera out again. Let's readjust. And I got my iPad here to look up some references. Let's see here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll see if Pen shows up. Now, I look a little tan, but uh, let's see if I move my light up here. But hopefully you'll be able to see drawing. So I'm going to fill, this is 11 by 17. So I'm going to draw kind of big. Hopefully will, the lighting will, will uh, cooperate here. So let's see here. I do want to start with uh, an octopus. I already have a picture picked out. But I'm not going to copy it exactly. I want to do my own, like his arms and the tentacles go. I want to do, I'm going to do them differently. But I'm just going to sketch for a while. We'll, we'll play with the lighting, see what happens. And I'm just going to use a ballpoint. It's just a big, big crystal. And this is the um, 1.6 millimeter. So it's a little thicker. And they do get a little messy, you know. They do get a little, the ink does kind of build up. I don't know, maybe that's going to be a little too dark, I think. That might be a little dark. That's better. A very tall sea dragon. Yeah, I'm going to draw a sea dragon too, Donna. 
I'm going to draw an octopus. And I, again, guys, I'm going to sketch. I'm not trying to do, I'm, I'm trying to warm myself up for Inktober, even though I'm not doing sea creatures. I'm not doing sea creatures. Oh, that's probably not going to show up. Eh, we're going to have to fiddle. Uh, if I if I zoom in though, you won't see the whole sheet. Um, I'm not going to do sea creatures for Inktober. Can y'all see? I don't know. We'll see, guys. Because I did sea creatures another another year, so I want it to go about that tall up there, and then I'll have it come all the way down here. <clears throat> Hi, Miro. Miro, somebody was asking about um, some scrap, I think a scrapbooking store or something in Poland, which, I'm, which you know, <laughs> I'm sure there's some somewhere in Poland, but I'm not sure what uh, city or um, what do you call it, uh, I don't know if it's a province or something. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing like, I'm not even really lifting my pen. I just want to kind of, I just want to sketch. So if y'all have anything y'all are working on or don't talk about, just feel free to ask or talk about it. Can y'all see? <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something what I wanted to do today because I want to get ready. I want to get in the in the zone for uh, Inktober. So does anybody else like to sketch? I know, you know, a lot of y'all like to draw, you know, draw faces and things. But uh, other than Janet, does anybody? I don't get that. Sorry, do you scrapbook? Oh, any scrapbook stores or kind of what kind of craft stores? Somebody was, and I don't even remember who was asking now. Somebody was asking about stores in Poland. I thought maybe you would know. Bye, Christine. Thanks for stopping in. You liked it. Zeely likes to doodle. Jackie likes to sketch and draw stuff around my house. Loretta says she sketches faces. Hi, for, forever. You, you scrolled off. Scooby, when I have time, I love taking pen to paper. Not very good at it, but I enjoy it. Yeah, I just, I like to, this is my form of doodling. Is just, I like to, I like to just sketch. I don't do it very often here. If we if we do much drawing here, we usually do um, do it on the big scroll and use acrylic paint to um, use acrylic paint to paint them in. Lisa sketches. Hey Jen V. So pull out some paper, people, and sketch. So especially before Inktober, I like to do a lot of, you know, it just gets you used to ink because I don't draw um, finished pieces very, you know, much with ink. I got to get back into drawing. going to buy a new sketchbook today. And, and I know that a lot of y'all, and I, I'll do the same. I'll draw sometimes with, uh, I'll draw sometimes with uh, ink and sometimes with uh, pencil so you, and you can erase, you know, but sometimes it's just fun to, it, and beneficial to draw with ink because then you're not trying to be so perfect. <clears throat> you can be more loose and, you know, just, you know, whatever. Oh, thanks, Mike. 
Thank you for the super chat, Mike. Mike Brandigan's Life. Do you have a YouTube channel, Mike, with a name like that? Or it could be sometimes um, girls have their their husband's accounts and stuff. We have a few girls that do that. So I don't know if you're a real Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike. It's not hump day, but, you know. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> appreciate it. If you want to send me um, your address, I'll send you an art card. I try to, um, I try to send, um, well, I, I have been, I have to make another batch. I'm on a uh, third batch of art cards to send to, to send to the guy, girls and guys that give me super chat and PayPal tip jar. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, yeah. And like I said, guys, I have a couple of, I have, I think, four different octopus references here. I got a couple off Pinterest. I think I got one off of Google. And I and just, you know, just a sketch, you know, just to give you a little practice here. And then the pen gets a little, like, juicy. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Thanks, Lynn, for putting in my email. So, yeah, y'all think of some sea creatures. I, like I said, I want to do an the octopus, and I also want to do a, um, I want to do a, a sea dragon. Just uh, because I like sea creatures. Don't 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 get Xandra over here though. She'll have me drawn mermaids. <laughs> Xandra will have me drawn mermaids. I don't know. Maybe I could see. I could probably zoom in one here. Let's see. Maybe two. Let's readjust the light. Oh, that's a little better, isn't it? It's not, you can't see the full page, but that's a little better for uh, seeing, though. <laughs> All right. Okay, Sharon, thank you for stopping in. Feel better. Feel better. I hope your sleep makes you feel better. A lionfish. Yeah, I love me lionfish. I've drawn, and Xandra mentioned that last night. She goes, Dee Dee likes to draw a lionfish. I haven't drawn him for a while, but. Um, I love drawing sea creatures. And again, guys, I'm just, you know, just playing here. You know, just doing a little. <clears throat> and it's very, I mean, I'm, I'm holding the pen very lightly. No, no real pressure. You know, it's just, just very lightly. Very loose, very loose here. And again, it gets a little cloggy. Thank you, Bacola. I just really want the idea of it. And when you draw it, like just, you know, make it your own. You don't have to, you don't have to follow anything exact. Just, you know, I'm putting all my own suckers wherever I want them to be. And, uh, <laughs> Hey, Sharon, anybody else popping in? We're just, I showed my books. Uh, I'm not probably going to be here, you know, maybe an hour. Um, 
but I wanted to I wanted to show the books that y'all sent and you know my other abandoned book and I said well what else can I do today other than showing those books so I said well I'll just do a couple sketches Hey, Mona. You got the chores done? Got the chickens fed and the cows milked, Janet? <laughs> so, again, guys, I'm just using just a big ballpoint pen. And, uh, again, it does get a little juicy. I mean, I'm just cleaning it off here. But, you, you know, you don't have to put it on your page. But... <laughs> This was a great way to look. Yeah, exactly, Lynn. So I'm not going to overdo it. I like them kind of like this, you know, not too, not too much. But you can get the idea and then you can go and turn this into a better drawing. If you do, you know, if you do a sketch you like, you can do a couple things. You can trace it if you want, or you can photograph it and print it out and then work on top of that. And then do a better, you know, like turn it into a clean drawing. <clears throat> the seaweed seahorses are you talking about um, the seaweed seahorses is that something different than the sea dragons dana seaweed seahorses let me look that up let me look up a seaweed hang on let me look that up Yeah, I'm just trying to warm up for um, for Inktober, Jen. Come on, come on. Uh, sea, what did you call it again? Seaweed, seahorse. Okay, let's look that up. I'm because I, I know the sea dragon. I want to draw one of those too, but seaweed, seahorse. Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, that's. I think that's the same thing as the sea dragon. It, no, no, there's other kinds too. There's also sea. There's seahorses that are kind of look like they're molting, <laughs> like they're shedding their skin. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, the sea dragon. I'm gonna draw a sea dragon. I think I saved a picture of one. Let's go to that. Let's see here. Did I find save a picture of a sea dragon? I'm gonna go here. Okay, so let's try, let's go with the sea dragon. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, that's good right there. Um, let's see here. Ugh. Let me set this up here. Oh, oh, oh. Do I want another bigger sheet or do I want a small sheet? We'll keep going with the big paper. Kind of the same. There are different varieties of seahorses. Okay, well, I'm going to do the sea dragon because Cam and I, when we went to... Um, well, I'll, I'll, we've gone a few times and, different, you know, all of us have gone. But I think I'm going to keep this here to clean my pen off on. Um, the Georgia Aquarium, they have these sea dragons. And Cam and I spent most of our time drawing the sea dragons. I just ordered Band Civilizations. Happy. 
I know it's going to be fun. It's going to be your first abandoned book, abandoned civilizations. Yeah. The dragons are prettier, Donna said. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Let's start them off. This is, like I said, this is 11 by 17, and my camera is crooked because I have my paper at the bottom of the table here. So I'm going to start them. I mean, uh, I kind of want to start them up this, you know, up to here, and I'll come down to, you know, somewhere around here. So I'm going to have to kind of sh shift my paper up and down because I'm zoomed in. But let's lay here. So I just want to get it kind of sketchy. And I just really don't even lift my pen. I just kind of want to keep it really loose. Hey, Eileen, welcome. And then you can take your little sketches and, and add your own things to it. If you want to make it into like a real, like a dragon, add some wings to it or, you know, whatever. Um, they're kind of bendy. And then they have this curly and they have all these, it looks like leaves. It looks like, it looks like there's leaves growing off of them, but it's not, I mean, I don't know what they are, <laughs> but they, they have these, uh, They they look like they look like branches almost growing off of them. Can y'all see? Oh, Sea dragons and sunfish. Yeah, I don't know what a sunfish is either. I'll have to look that up. I like my lionfish. I've done a, quite a few drawings of lionfish. And these and their little um these little branchy things they're very translucent like they're like very clear like see-through hi mary how you doing i i need to mary i'm so sorry i've been missing your shows i know i feel so bad i've been missing some mary And these are just all kinds of little like, leafy things. And then there's some kind of pointy stuff coming on down this body. I watched three color pencil YouTubes yesterday. They were fabulous. Oh, well, good. I know there's a lot of great color pencil. Well, there's a lot of great everything on YouTube. I mean, just face it. <laughs> you can find, you can find anything, right? You can find anything awesome on YouTube. I think Samantha, my daughter, granddaughter, I call her Boo, because she's little. She's a little Boo. She's always been my little Boo. She, uh, I think she could build the world off of YouTube. I'm not, not exaggerating. <laughs> and again, I'm not 
trying to copy anything exactly. I'm just getting the feel for it. I watch a show on seahorses. There are thousands of varieties. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's like hundreds and thousands of varieties of everything. But um, I'm sure in sea creature world, there's probably even more, you know, variety than like elephants, you know. Like there's not thousands of elephants. But uh And they kind of have, almost look like they have like little holes in them. them. <laughs> What's the paper? It's just copy paper. Share. Uh, who asked? Diane. It's just copy paper. Um, for 11 by 17 copy paper. Yeah. Nothing special. Copy paper and a big pen. That's all it is. And I'm just, I'm just kind of just sketching today. I'm, you know, one of the things I want to do is I want to try to get back in, you know, to doing some uh, ink in my, in the ink mindset because of Inktober. And I, I started to do a pomegranate this morning. See, well, do I want to do, because I was, I thought about doing the, you know, Inktober innards. In other words, I wanted to do, um, I want to do uh, the insides of fruits and vegetables, but I don't know. I got a little bored doing it, so I'm sure it'd be boring. <laughs> uh, I know, Mary, but I usually try to watch, you know, a couple a week anyway. Bye, Miranda. Thank you for stopping in. So, you know, just get out some pen and paper and practice. And again, guys, you know, you got you, everything's practice. What about a deep sea angler? I'm Jackie. Oh, let me see. Let me find. Let me see if I can hear. I'll show y'all real quick if I can put my hand right on it. My Inktober's that I've done for three years. I'll, I'll show you the sea ones uh, if I can find them. Ah, I pulled. I put them together because I wanted. You know, we're gonna do. I put them in my folder here. The one that Lynn found Lynn reminded me what color folder I couldn't find one year I wanted to show my inktobers and I couldn't find my uh, I'm just cleaning my pen off here guys it does build up on a on a bit um I couldn't find my inktobers <laughs> and Lynn went back through all my videos and said it's in this pink folder so I found my inktobers for this is three years worth I found them in this pink folder, thanks to Lynn. <laughs> I would never have, I probably, I don't know how long it would have taken me to find my Inktober's if she had not told me. It's in a pink plastic. She went back and looked at a bunch of my videos. So, um, yeah, this was my 2015. You see, they get bigger every year. Here's 2016. <laughs> and then last year, I did Kanji. And they were this big. So they've expanded to this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and go right on up to um, this big <laughs> or not. But I'll flip through them real quick for you guys. This is, um, I hadn't planned on doing this, but since somebody said something about the fish. The first year I did my Inktober's uh, 2015 was all sea stuff. It's such a treat to all. <laughs> Thank you, Lynette. So I, these are about five by seven, I think. This is about five by seven. And I did everything with um, sea creatures. So, um, yeah. And I number them all. So the, did a crab, the first one. Starfish. Some sea turtles. 
coral, clownfish, some shells, an angelfish, there's an octopus, lionfish, some, some kelp. This one goes this way. Kelp. SpongeBob and Patrick. Hey, it's under sea. <laughs> it's in the sea. How can you do in the sea without doing a sponge? <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick. Hey, Orla. Anybody else popping in? <laughs> um, a lobster. <laughs> a jellyfish. The um, sand dollars with the little doves that are inside of a sand dollar. Bye, Scoobs. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Some angel fish kissing. Some more corals. A puffer fish. Sinking ship. Um, not a manta ray. Stingray. Lantern fish, a wave, a dock, some more brain coral, a lighthouse. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks for finding them for me, Lynn. <laughs> There's a little seahorse there. <laughs> Just a school of fish. <laughs> uh There's a little, this is just kind of a plain uh, sea dragon. Just, he's only got a couple little things hanging off of him. Like this one's got all the, this one's got a lot of the uh, branchy stuff. <laughs> a cuttlefish. A, I forget the name of this one. And then uh, mossy sunken ship. Wheel and there's the lantern fish because somebody would just mention this is why I pulled this out because someone said the lantern fish. So there's a lantern fish. So these are the ones I did in 2015. <laughs> hey, hey, Madonna, anybody else popping in? Thanks, Jackie. And then in 2016, I wanted to do reptiles. But it didn't end that way. I wanted to what my my idea for this one was to combine reptiles and um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Celtic Celtic knots. So and then this one is uh, eight and a half by eleven, thereabouts, eight and a half by eleven size. Stay faithful. And uh, so in this one. I wanted a, a ink splots on every page. I wanted it to work. I wanted the ink splot to be incorporated. And then I wanted um, reptiles and Celtic knots. But I ran out of reptiles after a while, so I just started doing other things. I started just doing, like, Halloween-themed things. So it started off with the frog and um, see the Celtic knotting designs in there. And then this one just got like raindrops, okay, rain splatters in it. But I wanted ink splots in every one. So that was this one. And then there's the tortoise. And you can see how the ink splots just meld into it. This one was 2016. Okay. I've shown these quite a few times, but since we're talking about Inktober coming up and inking. So, uh, yeah. So the little trees here make some ink splots. Cobra with the Celtic knot on his back. There's one of those lizards with the, the eye that pop, you know, the eye that goes like this. And the curly tail. So it looked like, to me, it looked like he had a party favor in his mouth. You know, whoo, whoo. I love doing sound effects. So I made the ink spot look like a party hat. <laughs> and a snail, little snails crawling around the border. 
Uh, <laughs> what did she say? Okay. And uh, yes, and I'm also doing not and I wrote down how to say it because I always pronounce this wrong. I wrote it down phonetically, but I don't know where I, I don't have, where is it? Well, I got it written down here. Oh, it's in the other room. Dang. It's in my um, traveler's notes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and then there's my bat with the Celtic knot. Little bat. And then this is one of those lizards that in the desert that have the big frill. Is it frill? Yeah, big frill. But I, it looked like this. His body was on top of his head. But I wanted to incorporate the Celtic knot. This one, this one was my. This was kind of a fail to me. And then an alleg or a crocodile with the, uh, the anamorphia Celtic knot in there. I know, it's, but how do you, what's pronounce it in in phonetics, Julie? Axel Axel Ah. Oh. Anyway. So there's a crocodile, a Komodo dragon, and but I see how I did the Celtic knot as part of his body there. This one's lizards, and every now and then you see me do it in my um, abandoned my mixed media collage. It's reversible. So it can go this way. And I signed it on both as well. I signed it here and I also signed that it's a reversible. So it's the same either way you look at it. See? <laughs> Axel, Axel Latte. Axel Latte? Oh, anyway, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> One of those little translucent sea creatures. <laughs> uh, and then the horned toad. We grew up with these in Texas. Um, just another sea dragon. I mean, uh, a sea, sea turtle, sorry, sea turtle. And that's where I think I left off on most. I mean, there's a couple more, I think in here, but then I said, eh, I got it. You know, I don't know. I'm running out of latte, like a lot, like a lot, like a lot, like a coffee latte. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. So then, so then I went into, well, I'm just going to do some Halloween themed things. So like I did the owl, but I still kept the, uh, still kept the Celtic knot thing going. Then this is one of those lizards that run in the desert. You know, they walk like run like that. And then I did a dinosaur skeleton busting out of, um, an egg. And then there's the world like, yeah, the world cracked cracked world, cracked egg in the dinosaur, dinosaur bones. Wati, Wati, <laughs> la <-dee> da <laughs> That's all I have to remember it, la -dee da um, Then I did a lunar moth. And then the rat and the cat and have the cat and a little bit of a uh, uh, spider web there. And he's got something trapped under his paw there. <laughs> A little spider, so that one. Then I did some pumpkins, uh, carved pumpkins, and then the eyeballs are ink ink bottles, and then the the stems are ink um, pens and brushes coming out of the tops of the of the pumpkins. Then here's Dracula's castle and a bat, well, a castle anyway, and then um, the raven. Poe's Raven. Thank you, guys. So that was uh, Edgar Allan Poe and the Raven. And here's a dragon. Then a couple of gargoyles having a little powwow, <laughs> having a little meeting, a little meeting of the minds, a couple of uh, gargoyles. And then this one, I always, I always ask people what you think this is. Some people get it. Now, some of y'all already know because I've shown these a lot of times. But a lot of people think it's a volcano spewing, you know, but it's not a volcano. You know what it is? <laughs> it's the melting witch. Wizard of Oz, I'm melting. It's a melted witch. Yeah. 
And then here's my scarecrow, my skelly crow. How do you pick a favorite? <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. My, this is my skelly crow. Let's <laughs> do a scarecrow. Yeah, exactly, Janet. Exactly. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites. I like this one. And then here's the cemetery in the moonlight. And then here's a spider in his web. And he see, he's the ink splot. The ink splot's the spider. And of course, you can't, you got to have Charlie Brown. The great pump, welcome great pumpkin. So this was the last one. This one we did on the 31st. So yeah, I should have turned them around correctly. Let's do that. Let's see. I gotta go backwards. Hang on, guys, so I can keep them in order. I did half of them flipped and half of them not. So yeah, Inktober is doing an ink drawing every day for 31 days. So that was 2016. Whoops, sorry guys, bumped it. 2016. And then last year I did kanji um, symbols. And these then were done on 12 by 12 by, is it 12 by 12? Bigger. Because <laughs> that's 11. Yes, maybe it's 11 by Anyway, because my sketches I'm doing today are on uh, 11 by 17. So um, this was the second one. Oh, here's the first one. Got them out of order. So so the kanji, and then I did part of, uh, and I kept it, uh, my, my goal last year was to keep it as simple as I possibly could. So there's the, that's the kanji for horse, right? Foot, bear, fish, fox. This was a practice one. I have, I have three feathers. This is the final one here. Feather. Tree. Uh, red, yellow, and blue. Mount. Mountain. I don't think it was Mount Fuji in particular, but I did Mount Fuji. Uh, I think this one was, and I wrote them on the back. Was it plant? I think this is plant, rain, cricket. Was it cricket or bug? It's cricket. Insect. Insect. Bamboo. A wave. Shell. I put a little pearl. See, there's the kanji right there. And then there's the pearl. Uh, but it's shell is the word. Fire. Pig. Snake. Direction. Music. No, that's book. Books, I think it was book or book stand. I always get those two confused. And then um, pine. Pine tree. This is the music one. The other one was book and books or book stand. Um, grass, star, time, poison, moon, lamp, water, idea. And wind, I think it was wind or clouds. So that was last year. So those are my last three years. Can I have a clippy here? Where'd my clippy go? Oh well. Uh, so those were my last three years of Inktober. And it's in my pink folder, Lynn. So I never lose them again. <laughs> I'll always remember that. Lynn. <laughs> and then this just goes in a bigger portfolio. Okay. So back to our sketches. So we did a little little octopus sketch. And I'm just working. This is just copy paper. And a, and a, this isn't my pen. There it is. And my uh, big pen. 
<laughs> hey, Becky. Thanks, everybody, for popping in. So I did this little sketch, and I was doing a little uh, dragon. Uh, did a little dragon, um, sea dragon sketch. So what did we say we wanted to do next? Oh, thank you, newbie Cheryl, for the super chat. Thank you, newbie. Make sure, email me your address, newbie, if you'd like an art card. The girls will put my email in there for you. Thank you. So, yeah, there's a little bit of a, a sea dragon. And you can put wings. You can make these make these uh, into wings. You know, just it's just your imagination. Don't tell me you don't have an imagination. Okay, let's see if I can move this up there. Okay, so now what do we want to do next? Do want to do uh, do I want to do another octopus? Do I want to do uh, what else? Do I want to do? Um, hmm. I think I'll do another octopus while y'all think of something sea creature wise. Let me find another picture. Hang on. Um, uh, another another octopus. Okay, newbie Cheryl. Yeah, just email me now. Again, guys, I'm I'm zoomed in a little, so it's a little. Um, can't see top and bottom. Let's see. Let me go back here to another octopus. One, two. Yeah, let's go with that. A narwhal. Yeah, maybe. I kind of like. I want something kind of. I'm feeling flowy. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I got something in my eye. Okay, let's see here. Let's do another. I'm not looking at chat for just a minute. I just want to kind of get this kind of sketched out. Get some leg shapes going here. Okay. So now I have it like fitting on the page, kind of where I want to go with it on the page. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's just sketches. <laughs> Cuddled. Yeah, I did that cuttlefish in the. Um, Getting the excess ink off the tip in my Inktober. Let's see here. Miss that one? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, I'm, I, I wish you could see how loosely I'm holding the pen. I mean, it's just like I'm barely holding on to it.
and you know, you, anybody can pick up a pen and, 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 and doodle, you know, just try, try a few things like try doing it in ink. So you don't want to erase, don't pick up your pen. Just keep going back over the same lines over and over. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be like no mistakes. <laughs> a manta ray may be faithful. Hang on, guys. I'm really not looking at chat for a minute. So hang on. I'm trying to kind of get this sketched in here. Maybe I should have propped it up on a board. Eh. Okay, Kim. Okay. YouTube keeps up person, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I think most of them do. I mean, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't. I'm not complaining to them. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully... I'll decide what I want to do for Inktober soon. <laughs> like I said, I thought about doing the inside of fruits and vegetables, but I started doing a pomegranate. It's one that has a lot of detail to it. And I wasn't, I was kind of bored with it. I was bored with doing a pomegranate. If I'm bored doing a pomegranate, I'm probably going to be bored doing an apple <laughs> or whatever, you know? So. <clears throat> Thrilled shark. Okay. It's just a ballpoint pen. Just a Bic. It's a Bic crystal 1.6 millimeter. So it's, you know, I don't know if it's, I know, I don't think it's the, I don't know if it's the bold because I think the bold says bold on it. But it's thicker. It's a little bit bigger. But I don't know if it's the bold. And you buy them in packs school, at school, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, when school supply season comes in, you know. Then you can you can fiddle later, you know, get it sketched in. Then you want to go in here and fiddle, shade, and you know, get more detail and stuff. Oh, thank you, Madonna. Make sure you email uh, email me your address so I can send you an art card. I'm doing an, I'm working up another batch this weekend. I sent all the other ones out that I had finished.
God bless. You. Okay, what are you studying for, Karen? Oh, no, she already left. Just started grad school, your master in nursing. Oh, that's right. You, yeah. I forgot that you just graduated and uh, or going for um, your master's in nursing. Informatics. I'm not sure what that is. Nursing inf informatics. I'm a little shading here. Then we'll go on to another creature. Karen's learning how to <laughs> Eileen. Oh my gosh. Girl, girl, girl. Girl, girl, girl. All right. So it's hard to stop once you get in the in the in the groove there. Get in the Eileen knows it all. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. So I gotta think think of what I want to do next. A lot I don't know. I always do lionfish though. Should we do something besides a lionfish? Two worms. Oh, Becky, I don't know. <laughs> two worms. I don't know if I want to do a two worm. I guess I could just look up sea creatures. See what else y'all are saying? Oh, Rebecca, thank you, Rebecca, for the super chat. Thank you. Make sure to email me your address. Do not see you. Oh, yeah, here, I'll put it in or somebody else can. Here you go. Yeah, I don't post my email on my because you, you need to put a capture and do other things because people spam. So I just, you know, I mean, of course, it's I put it out there for anybody that asks. It's there. But I just don't put it there to make it so easy for people to say, oh, good, I'll just spam her, you know. Thank you so much. Very, very thoughtful. Very kind. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.
A beta fish. Yeah, I could do a beta fish or the... Um, um angelfish or beta fish what other sea creatures could we do i'm trying to not do exactly everything i did in the, the, my old inktober but okay i'm going to stop on this one let's do one more here Sea monkey. I remember sea monkey. So then we didn't really do, we didn't get too far into this one. And then um, there's another octopus. Okay, so let's see. What else? Maybe a, you want to do a seahorse? Do you want to do a seahorse? Let me find one. Let me find a seahorse. Frogfish. I don't know what a frogfish, Eva. I haven't. don't know what that is. Let me look up a frogfish. Here, hang on. Let's look up frogfish. Frogfish. How long have we been here? Okay. Um, frogfish. A jellyfish. Yeah, see seahorse yeah i kind of want to do something kind of detailed right hey rebecca oh thank you what was it a frog what was it a frogfish frogfish looking that up it looks like a it looks like a rock it doesn't look like anything <laughs> It looks like a blob. Frogfishes. They look like blobs. For real. They do look like blobs. Do a um, starfish. Well, maybe we'll do a starfish and a seahorse. Okay, let's look up a starfish. You know, even though we did do one of those in October too. That's okay. We're going to just, we're just going to sketch today. We're not trying to do a finished Okay, so let's just look at a sea, um, a, what do you call it, um, starfish. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, let's see. Do I want the bumpy kind? The, like the kind I drew in, uh, in uh, what do you call it, um, Inktober had the bumps on it. You know, I don't know what they are. Are they warts? <laughs> are they growths? I'm not sure what they are. Hey, crafting with De uh, with Danine, Danina, Diana. Just draw ink. Oh, let's see. There's like wart ones. They're more interesting. You know, you want something that has. All right, this one. I think there's a lot of them here with the warts on. We'll draw one with the warts <laughs> that I tagged you in the other day. Judy, I, I don't know if this is what you mean. This, the uh, See, I don't remember which one you tagged me in. Were you here? I just did this one. Did this one. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right, let's let's get it sketched out here. Let's get the arms here, 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 short arm there, and there. There we go. Start out with our <laughs> a vampire squid. Now that sounds good, Sharon. A vampire squid. I mean, I already have my see um my, uh, what do you call it here? A starfish here. So let me go on my phone. What was it called again? Vampire squid. Vampire squid. Don't 
think I know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever. Oh, they are cool. They're creepy cool. Oh my gosh. And they have like, when they open up their bodies, like it's really, oh my gosh, they are. They are kind of cool. See if I can find a good picture to show you guys. A, it, depending on what angle you look at, right? Okay. Here's a, yeah, here is a little, little vid, quick little vid. I don't know if it'll, let me turn down my lighting, see if it'll show up for you guys. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to show up. They're really cool. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our starfish. I'm drawing really light. I could probably zoom in a little on this one because it's not as big. It's not taking up the whole page. There we go. I know, right? It looks really cool. So this is just a sketch. You can go back and add lots of detail, you know, add shading and detail and whatever, you know. Hey, Gabriel. Bye, Limo, Norma. Thank you. Take us pictures of your beautiful haircut when you're done. So just a little quick little sketch. This needs to be longer. This needs to come down here more. Oh, you like how I said Gabriella? Is it Gabrielle? Great Gabriella? I'm not sure. So what's everybody else doing today? I know some of y'all talked about your weekend plans, what y'all got going on today. Barb streams at 2. I don't know if Janet wants to come on after me. I'm not going to be here much longer. Can y'all trick her head Janet into coming on?
Gab. First bit pronounced Gab. Gabriel. Gabriel. <laughs> oh, a library book sale, Pacola. Take me with you. I love library book sales. A choir practice. Oh, Miro. Awesome. What do you sing? And what, what kind of, do y'all have some kind of a, a, what kind of group or what do you do? Because you're in Poland, right? I do have the right person. Miro, you're in Poland. Canny watermelon jam, Madonna? Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how you do that. It sounds yummy. Barnes and Noble and coloring. Awesome, Andrea. That's an awesome day. Hey, Colleen, did I see someone mention your name? I did. There you are. Hey, Colleen. Colleen, put your link in there if you're streaming tonight, Colleen. Now, you always stream really late, so I never make it to yours. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I like to watch recordings when you have them. It tastes like summer. I bet it does. Watermelon wine pickle, Suze. Julie goes, it tastes like summer. I bet it does. Yeah, put y'all's links in there. Colleen, put your link in there. Janet, did anybody talk her into it? Barb's comes on at 2 Eastern. Um, Barb Owen, she comes on, I think. It's, it is the first Friday of the month. So I'm guessing that she is coming on. I'm guessing she's coming on today. I don't know. I could do. I wouldn't mind going to the bookstore today. I can't remember when the last time I got out of the house. What did I do this week? <gasps> don't, don't even remember what I've done this week. Been so busy. Okay, I think I'm kind of done on this one. Gonna add some color. You wanna add marker to it? Although when I do my Inktober, I don't color them. I co sometimes I'll do a color one after, like I'll do one to color. Um, but I just do them in black and white. And we can add more ink to it. We can add brush. Let me see. Let me get in my pen. Let's see what we can pull out of the magic bag. Are y'all trying to still talk to Janet? But I really want waterproof. I don't know if I want to do a Sharpie. I really want a brush pen, but my brush pens, I never know which ones are waterproof. Let's go with this Kelly Create one. I don't think it's waterproof, but I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some.
Uh, Colleen, I'm sure Colleen's going to have a haul for you guys tonight. Trust me. I've seen some of her Twitter pictures. Colleen will have a haul for you tonight. <laughs> Am I right, Colleen? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Who, me a haul? Yes, you a haul. I think, didn't you find a, um, didn't you find a, what do you call it, um, some, a sale at a Hobby Lobby, a Hobby Lobby sale? I haven't been to Hobby Lobby this week. I don't think. Did I go? No, wait. I think I went to Hobby Lobby. Was it last Saturday? I, I had to get some uh, packing tape. I had to get the, you know, the shipping tape. So I ran into Hobby Lobby for that. Acting innocent. <laughs> She's acting innocent. <laughs> <laughs> it was a few weeks ago okay well i still i still haven't seen you do the uh video on it is she did y'all talk janet into coming on oh my gosh Let me show y'all a couple of books. Um, let me pull Janet Clutcher Pearls. I'm going to pull some books off the shelf, although you probably have them. <laughs> uh, that way I can show y'all some in, more inspiration. Like y'all need to buy more books, right? <laughs> I ordered some stuff from Z and Joggles. Ah, did you get the notebook, uh, Zandra? Did you get the binder? I'm using that binder for, um, what do you call it, uh, my quotes, my brush lettering quotes. Well, I should just call it quotes because it's not all going to be brush lettering. But I do want to do more brush lettering practice. So did you get the binder too? Okay, let's see. Oh, let's go with an orange. You got the binder. You missed seeing what I did with my... Yeah, I haven't really done anything with it yet, <laughs> except set it up. I did set it up. Colleen. And put uh, papers in it, but yeah. See, I'm trying to see if this smears. I think this is not waterproof. Let's go over here. This is that Kelly creates. I should have just picked up a um, Copic. Let me let that dry for a second. But I don't think this is waterproof. But I think I'm picking up black there. No, it's not moving. I think once it's dry, that Kelly Creates pen is waterproof. I would not tell that to Cameron for sure, because remember what happened with that. <laughs> uh, I'm missing what you did. Uh, okay, more than I've done. Yeah, I just put, I'm using scrapbook papers. Um, you know, we got tons of those. <laughs> and um, uh, using those for like bases and backgrounds for the brush lettering quotes. 
still haven't seen Janet answer, unless I've just missed it again. Okay, let's see. Do I have an olive green? Let's see what color this one is. Yeah, that's good. You have Ray's new book to show to. I haven't, I didn't get that one. I know you're trying to enable me. I did, I don't have that one. Who's anxious for Survivor? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get Janet out of the woodwork. Who's looking forward to Survivor? <laughs> I think it comes like in a couple of weeks. Anybody? Anybody looking forward to Survivor? <laughs> Janet? <laughs> Oh, isn't that faithful? I think I saw that advertising in like 99 bucks. It's expensive, but hey, you know, if you're, if you're, you're going to use, you know, really work in it. But I think it was the one I saw, the rose gold one, like spiral bound. Is that the one you're talking about, faithful? Julie, you are looking for a survivor. My husband loves survivor. Yeah. Hey, Southern girl. I have watched Survivor since day one, since the first season. Hi, Jean. Welcome, sleepyhead. Oh, I'll have to watch for you to see what you do with it, faithful. She put down the crochet and pop in. <laughs> All right. So, again, I have not seen if Janet is going to stream. I did not see her answer. So, y'all are on your own. <laughs> anyway, I just playing here, messing with this. Is there one more thing y'all want to see sketched? And then we'll see if we can round up Janet and go. Oh, a seahorse. We're going to do a seahorse. Let's do a quick seahorse then. Got marker on that one. <laughs> Janet must be out planting more peonies. <laughs> or out there with Edward Scissorhand. Let me see if I can find me a, let's see here. Let's see. Let's find a seahorse. I'll try to kind of keep it on the sh on the page here. It might need to back out one because I am a little zoomed in. Robert can mow them down. <laughs> That's why we call him Edward Scissorhand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. A seahorse. All right, let's see. Let's start with him about right there, top of his head up here. And come down and how far out down do we want him to be? Okay, we'll have them about that big. Slap some paint here and there. Trace some coloring book art. Stamp a prayer of shopping repentance. Faithful. <laughs> Stamp a prayer of shopping repentance. Girl. Good one. I got to write that down. That needs to go in the wingnut book. So faithful is Bible journaling. <laughs> Her Bible journal will be stamp a prayer. I mean, she did say slap some paint down stuff too, but she's going to stamp a prayer of shopping repentance. <laughs> Good one, faithful. Faithful mess. <laughs> 
If y'all don't follow Faithful Mess, she's a mess. You need to go follow her on YouTube. Shopping Repentance. <laughs> Faithful Mess. Okay, that has to go in the wingnut book. Yeah. You made the wingnut book, Faithful. Y'all know what the... <laughs> this is the wingnut book. Because we're just a bunch of wingnuts. So anytime anybody says something quippy, quotey, cute, we write it down on post a note and it gets slapped in. It gets slapped into the <laughs> wingnut book. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Oh, I was going to show you a couple books. Okay, let, I'll, I'll do that too. Let's see here. Let's get a little eyeball on our seahorse here. <laughs> Twice a day. I know. Uh, well, when you're when you're funny, you're funny. What can you say? a little odd looking. Maybe we just need to make him look like he has uh, some odd hair or something. Okay, let's, let's get his little chest in there. Yeah, I'll show y'all a couple pen and ink pen, uh, books. How about that? So in case you aren't enabled enough to get something. Let's see. Oh, sorry, guys. I forgot that. <laughs> I'm zoomed in. Just sketching his. Yes. Right. Hey, Sabrina. Pygmy seahorse is ideal. Red warts like a coral. Ooh, that one sounds cool. Yeah, and remember, guys, if you have been doing any <laughs> of our um, Society of Idea Collectors, you have tons of ideas to combine different things and make different uh, creatures. Remember, don't you don't have to just do what a book says or a picture says. Do your do do your own thing. Our wingnut, when it started, was going to rewrite. I know. <laughs> I was going to rewrite them, right? No way now, Jean. Uh, we have, we, there's hundreds in here. And they wouldn't make sense to anybody unless you were here. It's one of those, you had to be there, right? You literally had to be there to get it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you all a couple of cool books. Let's see. Let's do some bumpies on his tail. Um,
So we're just doing some little sketches today, guys. Maybe you need some kind of weird ears or some kind of, I don't know. What can we do with this little guy? Could have ears, like cat ears. Meow. <laughs> uh, did you see my Yoda, Josie? Yes, I did. I was there for a little bit, uh, Jean, but I wasn't in chat. So, uh, but yeah. I saw the finished picture on uh, Facebook. I, I think I saw on Facebook. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, uh, we did a silly little seahorse. He can have more things going down his body here. All right. So what else did we draw? today a little, little starfish um did a little quick little dragon fish the dragon seahorse whatever it's called another octopus <clears throat> couple octopus It was cute, Jean. I liked it. Okay, let's see here. Let me come over to my books. Um, I want to show Danny Gregory first. The creative license. He will tell you to draw and pen. And he this in this book, let me see what year it is. Remember, he's the one that started Everyday Matters back in the day, 2006. And it's using, drawing everything, all your, everything you own, essentially. Draw everything in ink. Okay? And it's an awesome book. There's just so much. I, I'm not going to review these because I've done it before. So the creative license to write another Halloween story. Oh, Mary! <gasps> Wait now, let's look at this. The Mary Altier's per Azure persuaded me to write another Halloween story. Working from the side of the idea collector list, I have the plot. Oh my gosh, I loved your spider. Is that the, what you're talking about? Something like that, Mary? Oh my gosh, that's so good. Put your link, um, well, can somebody put Mary, well, you can just click on her name to go to her YouTube. Oh, well, thanks, Andrea. They're just, you know, fun. Okay, let's see. Um, some other ink, pen and ink books. I'm looking at my art books here. Hang on. Let me find y'all a couple. Of, I'm, I'm going to try to find ink drawing. Ink, um, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot I had this one. Let me pull this book out of the shelves. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Um, hang on, guys. I'm looking for some. Okay, here, this one's a good inspiration. It's not, not necessarily how to draw. Edward Gorey. This is, if you all ever, uh, I guess the best thing, if you've never seen, remember Masterpiece Theater? Edward Gorey's... Uh, illustrations were the you know the little lady fainting going ah and somebody got dying and all that well anyway <laughs> he's much more than that but that's probably what you're familiar with but this is a good one i i don't have an aubrey beardsley book um but i have uh checked that book out of his books out of the library or biographies on them uh, over the years i will eventually get one of those um but that's who got me into liking pen and ink. Let's see. Hang on, guys. I'm finding a few here. Um, this one. Okay. So here's a couple more. Claudia Nice. Now, I have probably three, four of her books. 
This one's creating textures and pen and ink. Let me get a baby wipe here. <clears throat> Clean my hands off. My room just feels bigger after rearranging some shelves yesterday. If y'all weren't here at the beginning, I was talking about how I rearranged some shelves and wall space in my room so that I had a place to hang Norma's acrylic pour. And so I moved all my inks. If y'all remember, all my inks were on one side, the other side of the room from me, all my inks. So I've moved all my inks, my magicals, all my sprays. Well, not all of them because I still have that one thing on the wall that holds them all. But I moved everything that was on that other side of the room over here. And so I redid a bunch of shelves on this side, have a little wall space where I hung Mona. I moved Mona and my acrylic pour from Norma over on that one wall. Okay, so anyway, creating texture and pen and ink. Claudia Nice has all kinds of books out on pen and ink. And I would recommend any of them. She has just tons of tons of techniques. This one's quite old, I think. Uh, I think her other ones I have are in paper or soft cover. This one's 1995. But it's like, it doesn't go out of style. Where's Janet? Oh, the guys are due here in 10 minutes. So we can make decisions. Oh, okay. So you're still doing, you're still doing reno, renos. Janet's working on renos. So I guess she can't um, stream for you guys. But uh, don't forget, Bart comes on it too. So anyway, she does a pen and ink and watercolor on the on the pen and ink and look look at that rust so it, it, she just does a little everything metallics water wood glass she does fur here's look here's some examples we'll just put it y'all just put it in your cart you don't have to go buy it right now go put it in your cart on amazon I'm sure it's there. It's probably in, this is a hardback. It's probably in soft cover. Okay. Then, um, where's the other one? Oh, this one I've had forever. This is called the Technical Pen, Gary Simmons. This one, and y'all remember Technical Pens? There's probably pictures in here. <laughs> this the, That's the kind of pens that we used to do our cross stitch back in the day. Uh, pattern. All right, this is 1992. 1992. And this is all done like with the technical. Y'all remember the Kohenor technical pins that clogged up and you had to clean them out, took forever. This is before our uh, disposable microns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. Look, here's all the parts of the pin. There's a Kohenor right there. Those are the kind of pins that we used when we did Back when I worked for uh, Cross My Heart doing um, doing cross stitch books, um, these patterns in here, these are all hand drawn with the Kohenor. The red is uh, is it's chain it's red, but all the rest, how we did the red is like it's a like an overlay. Okay, so you did you did all the black you did all the black. Well, they're both done with black. But this was before we had desktop publishing and all that. This all had to go to the printer, right? And all this was done on a clay-coated paper. Each square was like an inch. This is smaller. Uh, I think it was two-inch squares. This is like 50% reduced, I think. And uh, all this is done with a Kohenor, okay? All this is done by hand. And then to get the red, and the reason they did red was so that they, you can't couldn't copy it. So then you'd have a vellum overlay. So you'd overlay the vellum and then do what you see as red was really black, but it's an, a separate printing process. So, <laughs> so the process, there's like two layers that you did, and you send it to the printer. And uh, so all this was done by hand. This, this particular book was all my designs, and this book won a, um, there's artwork by Dee Willingham. This one came out in 1988, and this one won the year, 1988, won the best cross-stitch book of the, of the year for all cross And that was big back then. That was big back then. Yeah, charting by hand. 
Well, what we would do is we would draw, we'd sketch out animals in color pencil. Well, I, this, these are all mine. Sketch out whatever it is we did. Most of these are mine. Some of them aren't, but all these are. You sketch them out in color pencil on graph paper. Okay, so you have these big rolls of graph paper, big rolls of graph paper. And you sketch your animal out in color pencil, and then you translate, you translate those colors that you drew into symbols that match the DMC thread. So like here's all the symbols like right down here, right? So here's your symbols. So like the, let's just say the dot. The dot was white. The L was dark pewter. The um, V was dark straw. Those are DMC floss colors, okay? Um, <laughs> Aw, Mary. Um, and so you would translate. So every place that you see, like, let's just say, let me find something, um, like the black square, oh, the black heart. The black heart was charcoal, right? So every place you see the black heart, that's dark charcoal. These are all hand done with a Kohenor, with one of these pins that Claw got <laughs> back in 1988. Uh, you found one of these at a garage sale? <laughs> um. I don't know why you can't send me an email, Cheryl. Somebody else put my email in there again, please. So, um, and we would hand draw the, I mean, hand code these, right? That's all hand done. <laughs> I mean, and you may not be able to see it, but that's solid. Look, all that is symbols. There's little symbols solid. <laughs> and then we'd send it off to a stitcher. Somebody, you know, that liked to do cross stitch and then they would they would cross stitch them and then we'd get them back and either frame them, turn them into pillows or whatever. But here's the animals done. That's what they look like finished in cross stitch. When you typed it in earlier, it had two. K oh, I'm sorry. I, I typed it in wrong. There's only one K in ink script. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thank. That's why I should leave it to the mods to put typing. So anyway, uh, I'm showing you this to show you um, what it's like to use a technique. Now we it's like a micron. It's like a micron, but you, you know, you can refill them and they're a pain in the butt. If you have nowadays, guys, I'm sure all that's done on computer. Now, I don't think anybody hand, draws the symbols <laughs> thank you julie so yeah here's a road train rapidiograph okay the koanor and you have the little ink bottles and you fill them up and and these clogged up like crazy anyway that was beside the point here's one of the cleaners um the point is is i want to show you the the the, draw, the ink drawings in here Let's move this over to the side. <laughs> Charting software is out now. Oh, I'm sure it is. Okay, so look at this. Look at this detail. Look at all that cross hatching, guys. Isn't that like stunning? There is some amazing art out there. Pointillism here cross hatching and all different, you know, different, here's all the different, um, different kinds of strokes and what's wrong with some of them. Like here he's in failure to complete strokes on the edge. He's got little boxes to show you everything. Hi, Julie. <clears throat> I am JK Julie. Front door photography. How's it? It's been years. I mean, I see you tweet every blue moon. But it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. It's been years. Hope you've been well. Oh, thanks. I'm just going to flip while I'm talking to uh, someone we haven't seen in a long time. Look at this of Henry Fonda. Look at that.
Oh, great to see you. That little. Look at all, I don't know if you can see the texture in that cloth. Oh, I didn't see her. I didn't see her a couple weeks ago. Sorry, I missed you. Oh, well, I'm sure Julie Topaz made you feel welcome if she saw you. Yeah, Joycey, that, that's the same Julie. Look at this, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Pointillism and some cross-hatching in the feathers. Oh, thanks, Jean. Thanks, guys. I just didn't see her. Here's a little demo of four, I don't know how many different monks. How many did he do here? Eight. Eight different monks. Like the one on the cover. Is it eight of them? No, there's 12. Oh, there's 16. 20. Okay, 24. All right, so he gives you a little um, outline here if you wanted to try to practice this, right? Thanks, Jean. And he shows you 24, for some reason, I thought it was like eight. Uh, I, don't, I haven't looked at this book in a while. But he shows you 24 different ways to crosshatch and ink and pointillism and all different kinds. And then he shows you the different kinds of strokes to use. So here are all, the, look at all the different ways you can do the same picture. So he gives you an outline. And look at all the different ways you can do the same picture. From the line art. Isn't that awesome? And then he shows you the different strokes here in the boxes that he used. I know, right? Very cool book. Yeah, just all different kinds of line art and sketches. This is kind of like we did today, just some sketchy drawing like this. Bye, Rosetta. Hi, Purdy. We're just finishing up here. We just did a little talking about, you know, Inktober's coming up. Talked a little bit about, um, you know, inking. I showed my old Inktober's. And then I, um, we, we did a few um, little sketches today. Where do they go? They're up under here somewhere. Where are they? Where'd you go? There's the paper. Where's the... Where's the paper? What I do? Well, oh, here they are. I'm digging over there in paper, and here they are right here. So we just did some sketching today. Did a couple of octopus sketches, a sea dragon sketch, a little quick little starfish, a seahorse, just some quick little sketching, guys. So anyway, there's those books. Do I have any more I want to show? I mean, I could pull books all day long, but... Um, I was trying to keep it on pen and ink books. So I try to keep my books in some kind of order, but I think a lot of those are going to be in my calligraphy collection. Um... Well, I'm not putting my hand, my eye, I should say, I'm not putting my eye on some more pen and ink right off the bat. Okay, well, maybe that'll have to do for today. I'm not seeing some more, more. Oh, wait, here we go. Nature sketching. 
I was trying to find mostly just ink. A lot of them are ink and watercolor. Okay, well, we'll just leave it at that for today. So, anyway, I hope y'all had a little, you know, fun little bit of Friday. Uh, if I'm sure y'all caught some of the people that are going to stream later today, like Colleen tonight. Um, Barb comes on at 2. And anything else y'all want to put in links. So it's good to see you, Julie. I'm so glad you got to pop in. And uh, Kia, Brenda. Thanks, Mary. And I'm, I got to go catch up with you, Mary. I'm so glad you're going to write another story. Mary, st stories and illustrations. Oh, my gosh. Just too, too awesome. All right, guys. Well, I hope. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? There? Oh, I moved the paper. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And, uh, you know, we'll be here on Monday, our usual. Thanks again to Kenny and Suze for sending some books, one of which we will give away maybe next week. Let me show it one more time. So Kenny sent us two of these. So, oh, that looks pretty on camera. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll try to give away one of these maybe next week, just an extra giveaway. Because like I said, I try to give away one book a month, but you know, when the girls send it in, it's hard not to, it's hard to wait and, and give them away like once a month. It's hard. It was so hard for me to wait on uh, Serene when we did the Momo. Um, thanks, guys. I hope you all have a great weekend. You're welcome. All right, guys. Hang in there. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jean. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great weekend.